Ludovic Julie has gotten himself a Fantasy FC Hero SBC. If you guys saw my review on his normal hero card, I think only his 86 rated. When the game kind of first came out, I absolutely loved him. So I see this SBC and it was an instant complete for me. An 86 and an 84 rated squad, not too expensive. For cheap, fast and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to MMOEXP.com and use code DAVIS at checkout for 5% off your order. He is 5 foot 5 so he is a very short player, high medium 4 star 4 star. Now we did go for the Hunter for the Chem style just to get that pace to maximum. He goes to 99 pace which is 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, obviously maximum. You can't ask for much more, his shooting is phenomenal as well. The Hunter giving him that plus 8 finishing boost so, he, so he will have 96 finishing in game, 95 shot power, 89 attacking positioning. His passing stats as they are is very nice, 91 short passing, take a look at those dribbling stats man they look incredible 93 stamina the only thing about this card that i can see is he's gonna be a weaker player 53 strength obviously he's five foot five that's what you expect for a five foot five player you're not going to expect him to be strong he's a player you'll be wanting to to left stick dribble with get in behind he is genuinely going to be a winger you do not really want to use him as a striker in my opinion now as well as you can see this card is based on monaco so if monaco win uh two games in the next four he gets a plus one and then if they score 11 goals in the next four which I feel like would be pretty tough for Monaco then he'll go to a 92 but I think it's a solid chance of him going to a 91 rated for the two play style pluses he's got flair which isn't a great play style plus to have acrobatic is pretty nice so pretty underrated in my opinion he's got some normal or some great normal play styles of quick step technical whipped pass which will be really nice on the wing dead ball so if you need a free kick or a corner taker then julie is going to be your man and finesse shot so if you wanted to play him on the left then that could work as well we are going to keep him on the right though um and we're going to have him as a right cam as simple as that get into the box uh, for the cross for supports on crosses without further ado let's get into it on Julie with it here he has got the whipped cross so we're going to go for that ball over the top not really a cross more so a lobbed pass there a little bit of an awkward position Eusebio was in I had no players at the back post as well Ruben Diaz with it see Julie making that run we're going to trigger that run we're going to time it running in behind he's got the acrobatic he gets that shot away it didn't actually trigger the acrobatic there but nonetheless he gets that shot away wins us a corner <laughs> this game, bro. This game, I, I, I'm speechless. The less said, the better, man. Go on. Let's kick it off strong. Julia, he's slippery. He wins us that foul, but we're going to keep going with him. No, we'll take the foul. It will be advantage, I should say. Okay, back to Hullet. Back to Julie. This is the football we like to see. Near post, Killian Mbappe. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Julie's actually coming short for this. Go on. Play it short to Julie. To Ronaldinho. I still see Julie in the corner of my eye. I don't want to focus too much on him. I have a, a habit of doing that in player reviews. I focus on the player that I'm reviewing so I don't play very well because like my whole game style is based around him. So I have to try stop doing that. But Julie, season opportunity. Give that back to you, Sabio. Julie, one more time. We're knocking on the door here, boys. We're knocking on the door. Julie with it. We drive through here. He is fast. He is so fast. We went for the cutback. I'm sorry. Look away, boys. But in that position, not much else you can do. But I'm telling you, boys, that man, he is fast. Now, we're not actually going to play it short this time. Instead, we are going to score a header with Hullet instead. See, it would have been quite cool if it worked. Julie actually gets involved, wins it back. Eusebio, can we get that shot away? This is so chammy for Yera. Hullet. What is going on? Julie, 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 there he is, Philip boys. There he is. I can't speak. I've lost for words. Everything's going on. I don't know. This game is a mess. This game is a mess. But Ludovic Julie is in the right place at the right time. I'm telling you, boys, that attacking positioning, man. It's Ludovic Julie straight away. We're going to do a little ball hop or a little ball bounce, if you will. And it works. No one can catch him. He's too fast. Could have easily won us to foul here as well. Eusebio, that's an assist for Ludovic Julie. I have seen enough. This card is fantastical. I don't think that's a word. Just like that, boys, we have switched the game around from 1-1, a very stale game, if you will. Just like that, we get that goal with Ludovic Julie. And minutes later, we go ahead and get an assist as well. So that's a goal and an assist. Two goal contributions for the man of the hour. 
and he is very fast as well. He's honestly a joy to use, and you'd be silly not to use him on the wing. He's not a card you want to be playing as a striker. He's not a card you want to be playing as a central attacking midfielder. In fact, he's not a card you want to be using centrally. Like, get that Hunter on him. He's got 99 pace. He's got a very small body type. His left stick dribbling, his agility balance is fantastic. He's a player you want to be using on the wing, and I know many people won't like to hear this, and I am not saying that you should. Oh, I thought I was going in. And I'm not saying you should go and play for cutbacks, but let's be real. Most of us mo most of us have scored or attempted a cutback before. And if you say no, then you're probably lying, right? So if you do get into a position like I did earlier, where you kind of have to go for the cutback, I mean, he's a player that you want to have on that byline because he, he, he's slippery, he's short, and it is 3-2. The game is back on. Yeah, moral of the story, he's a player that you definitely want to be using as a winger. Ludovic Julie. You try Duke Bompastor, and Bompastor is not easy to get past. Lam just not making that run I wanted to as well. I triggered that run for Lam, but not good enough. Here we go. Now we're out playing that press. Eusebio into Ronaldinho. Julie. Come on, this is your time, Julie. He does, and I guess that comes down to the strength, right? It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Does get absolutely bullied. In fact, just breezed off the ball there. But no worries, because we've got Patrick Vieira. Seven minutes left on the clock. All in all, boys, he is a fantastic card with a Hunter Kim style on him. I mean, just look at that. 99 pace, those shooting stats are phenomenal. His dribbling as it is is already more than good enough. Now, the thing is, I know some people will be thinking of putting a Hawk on him, but I simply don't think that's good because going from 53 strength to 57 is utterly pointless you will not notice a thing same goes for aggression and jumping avoid a hawk it is utterly pointless that physical boost so you may as well just go for a hunter get that hunter chemistry style on him you have got a brilliant winger do i think you'll get the plus two probably not maybe he'll get the plus one i'm not sure what for monaco and i don't monitor the french league as of too much so let me know do you guys think he will get that plus one monaco obviously need to win two of their next four but no the fact he is 100 000 coins even below 100 000 coins is absolutely incredible a player you want to play on the right or the left if he doesn't make your starting 11 at the minimum he will be a great impact sub so for me it is a big green tick hopefully this video helped you out and i'll see you guys in the next one